hello everyone how is it going welcome back to the channel today's video is about how to generate the app bundle or the apk so you can go ahead and publish your app to google play or the app store so if you found this video to be useful helpful and interesting consider subscribing by hitting the bell icon like the video and can share as well so with that said let's jump right in so according to the documentations it's basically three steps you need to get everything done First, you should have Expo CLI installed on your machine. And also, secondly, there are some minimal changes you should apply to the app.json file. And lastly, you just proceed with the build. So within the app.json file, there are some few things you need to change in there. The name of your app, the icon, the slug, and also some few dependencies to add to the Android object. So, Within our app.json file, I'm going to leave the name and the slack to be the same, and also the version to be 1.06 since it's our first publish. The orientation being portrait, and also the icon. You can change the icon as well. Feel free. You can go ahead and change the slash screen as well. That's the initial screen that will appear when you upload. So this is the icon that is going to show on the app. So I'll leave everything as default. You can go ahead and change it. I need to add few dependencies to the Android side and that's the package and also the version code. The package should be in the form of com dot then your company name follow, then the name of your app. And also the version code to be one. So that's basically it. Third, you need to start the build. So to start the build, we run Expo build is to Android for Android and Expo build is to iOS for iOS app. So building for Android, there are two ways, generating the APK and also the app bundle. In today's tutorial, we'll be building for only Android. So I'll go with Expo build is to Android hyphen T, then the app bundle and hit enter. So it just asks for the Android package name again. Maybe I forgot to save in the changes. So I'll go with this one and hit enter. There we go. So in here, either we let our Expo generate a new key store or we upload our own key store. It's always safe to let Expo generate a new one for you. So you can see our iOS bundled JavaScript is building up. There we go. Okay, saving the assets, uploading JavaScript bundle as well. There we go. We can see we have a link you can monitor the build at this link so let me see that link and see what we have so far so you can see the status is queued so let's wait for a while so there's a whole lot of things going on here running gradle yeah you can see the status build in progress there we go our app has been built successfully and we have the download button over there so you can go ahead and click on the download button and have that file it's an android play build so you can just upload it to the google play store and before you knew that they need to provide some few bucks uh, 25 dollars for developer account before you can upload your app there so you can see i've already downloaded the app the file so you can go ahead and try it on emulator it will work the same on your phone on your device anyway so basically that's it see you in our next tutorial until then stay tuned